Chavez Jr. versus Vera. I did pick Chavez Jr. to win, but I do admit that I felt Vera deserved the win in that fight. Um, Chavez Jr. being the bigger guy, but really Vera is still a big guy. Um, he did get hurt once or twice in that fight where you could see his legs buckle and you could even hear his family members screaming out. You know, they were real worried about him once or twice in that fight. Um, but he hung in there. Chavez was not able to, to knock him down or anything like that. Seriously hurt him. Or at least seriously hurt him to where it affected Vera enough to knock him down. And um, But Chavez Jr. did come in with a new style. Uh, we saw a new style. He tried to come in almost fighting like Sergio Martinez. Um, he was being the in and out fighter, even though he was the bigger guy, he was using the smaller guy strategy. He did a good job at it. He just hasn't perfected it. I would like to see Chavez Jr. If Chavez Jr. can start fighting like that, I am, I am going to admit that I am biased and in favor of the in and out style, um, fighting with their hands down and in, being an in and out fighter. I am biased towards those type of fighters. I like them more because they tend to be more, more action packed fighters than the defensive uh, wizards and then they're at the same time they're just not coming forward like a all-out straightforward brawler you know they're it's kind of like in the middle kind of and I, I kind of like that um, Chavez Jr. Had, needs to perfect that style I, I would have liked to see him fight someone else but obviously he wants to also wants to redeem himself I'm sure top rank wants to put him back out there and I actually think if he was to straighten up his act and um trained the way he's supposed to be because we all know that he's had all the advantages and at the same time has been making nothing but bad choices smoking pot drinking beer getting arrested uh staying out all night picking his own training hours you know um changing trainers all the time uh he's with roach he's not with roach he is with roach he's blaming his dad he's blaming other people doesn't want to take responsibility for his loss to uh, martinez um It, it's it's something that we've seen in the past where, you know, he beat Vera, but we felt Vera won. And that's happened before in the past. We've seen um, Molina, Carlos Molina. And in my opinion, Sebastian Zibic, I felt he won that fight against uh, Chavez Jr. A lot of people, that's kind of, um, it's kind of split down the middle on that one with people. A lot of people do feel Zibic won. A lot of people feel Chavez Jr. landed the more meaningful shots. Um, and it happened with Carlos Molina. He fought him twice. Uh, Molina got robbed. Most people feel that that he got robbed. Um, Chavez Jr. Though I feel he has the opportunity to straighten himself out and come in and actually either stop Vera. He could beat Vera legit, or he'll end up getting the nod. He is the cash cow for for top rank. Um, since he first started out when he first. I'm talking about when he he was like 14 wins. He was already getting those little pay-per-view, uh, top rank pay-per-views that were like $10 or, you know, $14 back in the day. Um, he's been making money for top rank for a while now. Um, it's just amazing what they've done with him, you know, just off his name, his father's name, you know. Um, I like the way he was fighting, you know. I hope he... he perfects it and doesn't come in fighting his the usual way he fights where he just comes forward and just takes punches um i felt he lost the rounds against vera when he did that and just came forward and uh i felt the fight was even until uh, i forget which round it was but then all of a sudden he went back to his old ways and then that's when i felt he lost every single round after that um i'll be it'll, i'll be interested in seeing what he he, he how he comes in and and fights in this in the rematch um vera vera's a good fighter he does have head movement he fights straight up almost um i don't know i guess you could call it the mummy style where they fight straight up hands up but he does have head movement he's not that he does look stiff but he's not as stiff as he he looks all the time he's he does move around a lot he is able to slip punches um he is a smaller guy in this fight. Uh, I don't know. It's possible Vera could win again in the eyes of the public, or even pull off a win. Who knows? Um, but I think uh, Chavez Jr. If he, if he just does what he's supposed to do, I think he can actually stop Vera. 
I think he can um and I'm not a Chavez Jr. fan. I have never been a Chavez Jr. fan. I'm telling you, man. I'm not I wasn't even a fan of the father. I had nothing against him, but you know, I mean I'm the guy I was happy when De La Hoya beat Chavez a senior. Um that's just the way it was uh, back then. Uh I was young, but I was never a Chavez senior fan. And I was I'm never a Chavez Jr. fan. Um I hated the way he was running from Martinez for the, forever. I guess I'm a Martinez fan, Sergio Martinez fan, you could say. Or I'm biased in favor of that style. But I feel Chavez Jr. could win this. Um, I feel he can win it legit if he does what he's supposed to do. I'm not going to call a winner, though. I'll be I'll be happy just to watch the fight. Um, Maidana and Broner. Now, this fight isn't official yet, but Broner's asking for it. He does have a rematch clause. Madonna, the story going around is Madonna's like, you know, he Khan didn't have to he didn't have Khan didn't have to give him a rematch. Why should he give Broner a rematch? I'm not sure if they had a rematch clause. I think they did in the Khan uh Madonna fight, but somehow, you know, Golden Boy and politics and everything. Um I could be wrong, but Madonna was never given that rematch he wanted, you know, and he doesn't feel it's fair that he has to give Broner the rematch. Um as much as you don't like Broner, you have to admit that he was able to get up off the canvas like a soldier. Just like Madonna did time and time again against Ortiz, against Khan. He got up and that's what makes him such an exciting fighter. He has all the heart. He keeps coming. Um, he keeps coming, man. He's like nonstop, relentless. And uh, Broner, as he was, maybe, maybe he's not relentless, but he did get up off the canvas, man. You got to give him that. He got up off the canvas. He kept fighting. He never gave up. He didn't look like he wanted to give up. Um, it may have been a shock for him, you know, because he, he he was believing his own hype. I'm not saying he's a hype job, but they played it just right to where he was always fighting guys smaller than him. And then the, they put him against finally someone his size with Malinaji, but then Malinaji's never known for being a big puncher. And now they put him against Madonna, a big puncher, but they figure Madonna lacks the skills. I, in my opinion, they probably felt Madonna lacked the skills to um, beat Broner, you know, uh, the speed maybe. Maybe it was a, maybe they thought he lacked the speed and the power and everything because Broner's the, the one they're hyping up, you know. He's one of those names they got up there that they're trying to push in front of our faces. And um, maybe because he got that bad bad guy appeal where he's, you know, he's pissing people off and stuff. He's uh, acting a clown and stuff, but... I'm I'm not a fan of him yet, but he's really pulling me around, man, because seeing him get up off the canvas really gave me new respect for the guy. Even he fought someone who was bigger than him. Madonna did come in weighing a little bit more than him. Uh and Broner was able to finish the fight, man. And uh there's a chance if Broner came in with a new game plan, was a little bit more defensive. Well, I don't know about defensive. Maybe who knows, man. Um I'm not smart enough to think about how he could beat Madonna, but maybe some of them at their training camp could think of it. Maybe offense is the best defense, you know. Maybe his offense could end up helping him win. I mean, you, you never know, man. I think May Broner does have the ability to come back and win a rematch. Um, I'm not going to say he, I think he will. I'm not going to call a winner on any of these rematches. But I think that uh, this, this has a... Uh, trilogy written all over it. it and there's a lot of other money that could be made like in, in, in my opinion what I would like to see is Madonna versus Danny Garcia and Broner to move back down to 140 since it seems like he has trouble taking hard punches and take take on another hard puncher but a 140 hard puncher someone who's a little bit smaller than Madonna that would be Lucas Matisse um Someone who probably doesn't have the height advantage that Madonna would have, and probably a little smaller. It would be a little smaller than Broner, but I don't. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't looked at the heights and stuff and the arm reach, but that's a fight I would pay to see that. You know, if it was a double header, you know, Madonna versus Danny Garcia and Broner versus Lucas Matisse, man, now that's something that would get the Ar the Argentinians and will want to watch that. You know, it's exciting. They're all working with Golden Boy. It's it, 
that was something that I would actually pay the fifty dollars to see if it were, you know if they were together. But most that's not going to happen. Uh, most likely, we are going to see this Broner versus uh, Madonna rematch, um, and it's I'm going to watch it. 